47 car, Josh Lundy. 42, Adam Cartwright. The 40 of Jackie Williams. Kurt Nyschwanger in the 77 out back. Yellow lights out, pace car lights dim. We're ready to go. 25 laps for the sportsman. On Equipment Depot night, here come the sportsmen for their main event. Up, up and away, Alex Weber to the lead. Hansberry into second. Adam Cartwright to third. Lundy to fourth to the outside of Gorecki. Do you like Gorecki? Will he go to the outside or will he keep the door open for Milan? He flops right ahead of Matt Milan for fifth. Top four getting away. Hansberry closing up on Weber, looking for the lead. Cartwright was a quick qualifier in the 42, and he looks pretty fast tonight in his feature. Right on the back end of Hansberry. Matt Milan in the fifth as Gorecki lets him by. Eli Gorecki pulls up a little aim. Matt Milan in the fifth spot in the 12. Hansberry searching just a little lower than Weber for the lead. Top four setting up a blistering pace here in this sportsman feature. Here's the 11 of Lundy looking for third on the inside of Cartwright. Hansberry sizing up Weber for the lead. A little extra kick of momentum from the outside helps Weber lead the way. Yellow's out. Yellow out. Something on the speedway. Right in the middle of turn three. Weber about hit it. See it? Big piece of white something up there in the middle of three. So debris on the track brings out the caution. Five laps complete, 20 to go. Rockford Speedway safety crew quick to pick it up. They'll get the cone out here. We'll use the cone to realign them for the last time tonight, at least in this division. Sixers are next. They don't use the cone. Figure eight has... Alex Weber, a feature winner just a couple of weeks ago in that 0-1-7, looking for his second of the year. Out of turn four, green flag, and we're racing. Cartwright makes the bottom side work. He's into second, he wants to leave. Adam Cartwright working on the inside, going after Alex Weber for the lead, right in front of Hansberry. Hansberry might have caught a little bit of the wall. Tries to settle back in. One knee to the inside of Hansberry for third. Weber back into the lead. Settles in front of Cartwright, who's right on his back bumper. Hansberry right there, too. Robert takes a look to the inside for second spot in one. They get side by side. That allows Weber to get away just a little bit. Those top four in a lock step out of the fourth corner. Matt Milan in fifth, trying to close. Cartwright back ahead of Hansberry for second. Hansberry's ran that bottom most of the way and has hung with him, but now he'll lose second. Alex Weber looking good at the head of the class, though. Hansberry again, another run to the inside. Boy, that 95 is tough. 10 complete, 15 to go. Three laps from halfway. Alex Weber, your leader in 0-1-7. Cartwright wiggles a bit into one. Hansberry gets the run a little bit for second spot. Cartwright playing defense a little bit in that 42 to at least hold on to second. Hansberry got a whiff out of four. Gets a little sideways. Will he lose third to Lundy, who's packed right in there as well in the 11 con? All of this is helping Alex Weber, your leader, halfway next time by. Cartwright almost free and clear, back into second. Hansberry again charges back to the inside. We'll be halfway this time. 13 up, 12 to go. Alex Weber out front. Lundy off the pace, something up with Josh Lundy. He goes directly to the infield. That'll put Matt Milan in fourth spot. 
Now it's simply a trio in the lead. 11 to go, Weber, Cartwright, Hansberry. The 99 of Gorecki to the infield, just five left on track. Weber leading Cartwright, leading Hansberry. Then it's Milan, then it's Williams. Those are the top five, or the only five left with nine laps to go. Cartwright free and clear of Hansberry. Can he get to Weber? Weber wiggled a little bit out of the corner. Hansberry back on the bumper of the 42, and Cartwright dies to the inside for second. Hansberry and Cartwright, good racing for the runner-up spot. Williams catching Milan a little bit for fourth. Jackie Williams with the dirt car. Seven to go for Alex Weber. Hansberry slides it in. Couldn't quite make it work, but he did make it stick and he saved it. Six to go. When the leader, Alex Weber, gets to the line, we'll have just five laps to go. 20 scored, five to go for Alex Weber. Williams trying to get to the inside of Milan. As Matt Milan holds fourth spot of the 12. Four to go for Alex Weber. Weber with a two car length lead. Cartwright to Hansberry, still racing good and hard for second place. Cartwright might be catching Weber just a little bit for the lead. Maybe one good shot for Adam Cartwright and Alex Weber. 23 score, two to go this time. by here comes Cartwright. Cartwright's got it rolling. He's up to the back bumper of Weber. Hansberry right there too. Weber's gonna have to slip though to give Adam Cartwright a chance. White flag, one to go. One to go for Alex Weber. Can he hold off the late charge from Adam Cartwright? One more time out of the corner. And it's a winner for Weber. Then it's Cartwright, Hansberry third. Milan will outrun Williams for fourth. And the sportsmen get it done. Yeah, we'll draw the 50-50 winner here in a moment, so get your 50-50 tickets ready. We'll talk to our winner down here trackside. Two races to go here tonight. There's your winner. My math is right. That's two in the last three weeks for the 017 from South Beloit. Fitzgerald Equipment Sportsman winner here this evening. Got the helmet off, you'll take a breath. Hogan's Auto Repair, Emily Savannah Photography, Lamont Athletics, Pearl City Elevator sponsor on a car. How about it for Alex Weber? <laughs> Congratulations, man. You look like you worked hard or something out there. Man, you got it done again here tonight, and you really had to work for it with the 42 and the 95 behind you. Yeah, I, I was worried about them the whole time. The experienced drivers, they're fast. They're all fast. But we held on. We got it done. Yeah, you were fast, and it looked like you got away as the race went on. And, you know, whether it's tonight, not as many cars as we usually have, Saturday nights when there's 20 of these things here, you really got to work to be fast, and it looks like you guys are figuring it out here as we get to the middle part of the season. Yeah, and the right, right starting spots make all the difference. Yeah, they do. Uh, and what it makes a difference, too, is the folks that help. I'm sure you got a lot of people you want to thank for getting back here to Victory Lane. Yeah, huge thanks to my wife. She puts up with everything. QLF quality feeds. Uh, Pearl City Elevator, Kid Spot, uh, Element, El Emily Savannah Photography, Hendrix, Alex Johnson. It, everybody comes together. Long care by Walter.